We are live, Mrs. Roller. Okay, so I'm going to try and explain to Mr. Swatsky the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, I got this. Okay, so first of all, parallel lines are two non-vertical lines that are parallel. Then their slopes are going to be equal. In the second statement here, you see that it says if the slopes of two distinct non-vertical lines are equal, then the slopes are parallel. The reason we use the word distinct would be because they can have the same slope and be the same line. Distinct means they're two different lines. Okay, all vertical and horizontal lines are parallel, and we're going to look at the first example. Can I just stop for a second and tell you how exciting this lesson is, especially because it's on YouTube? This is really interesting to me. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> are the lines shown in the graph parallel? We're not going to do this by just looking at it. We'd have to use the slope formula to find the slope of each line. Do you know the slope formula? Seven. No, but good pa, guess. Pa, 3.14. <laughs> slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Of course. So we would take the slope of the first line and we would have 3 plus 5 over... 1 plus 3. And that gives me 8 over 4, which is equal to... 2! Very good. See, you know more than history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Math, math is history. You can't keep track of history without math. Fair enough. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> then the slope of the next line is going to be the same thing. We're going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we would have 4 plus 2 over 5 minus 2, and we get 6 over 3, which is equal to? Uh, 2, and I dropped the camera while I was so excited, but we're back in the game. So, if they have the same slope, and they are two distinct lines, not the same line, then they are? Awesome. And parallel. Parallel. Yes, they are parallel. Okay. Next thing you need to remember is how to write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line to parallel to y equals 4x minus 2, that contains that point. If we remember, you can use point slope and you would have y2 minus y, uh, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Do we know the slope of this line? The slope would be 4, because that's the number in front of x. So we would have y plus 2 is equal to 4 times x plus 2. And then we just have to solve it. We get y plus 2 equals 4x plus 8. Can you simplify that? Yes, you can. What do you think we could do? We can subtract 2 from both sides, and you get y equals 4x plus 6. That's exciting. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, perpendicular lines. Two non-vertical lines are perpendicular, then the product of the slopes is negative 1. This is another way of saying that the line and its negative reciprocal, the slope and its negative reciprocal, are perpendicular. So for example, if we use, if the slope of the first line was 2, the negative reciprocal would be negative 1 half. If I were to multiply those two together, I would get negative 1. So that would make the lines perpendicular. Okay, any horizontal and vertical line will be perpendicular because if you cross a vertical and a horizontal line, you will get a right angle. Okay, just a couple more examples and we will be done. But I want more. Well, then I will find more for you to do afterwards. There's lots of enrichment activities we can do with this. Thank you, Mrs. Roller. You're very welcome. What is an equation in slope-intercept form for the line perpendicular to y equals 3x plus 2 that contains the point 6, 2? Do I know the slope of this line? The slope is 3. What would be the negative reciprocal of 3? Negative three. Negative one third. Negative one third. Okay, so my new slope is. Every time I talk, my camera falls. Negative one third. Now all I need to do is use again that point slope formula: y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. And if you look at your points, you have your x one and your y one. So we have y minus two is equal to the new slope, which was negative one third times x minus six. We simplify, we get y minus 2 equals negative 1 third x plus 2, and we get y equals negative 1 third x plus 4. Did you understand that, Mr. Every Spotsky? little bit. Cool. Okay, are the lines in the graph 
perpendicular, how would we figure that out? What do we need to know if lines are perpendicular? We need to know their right angle intersection, parallel slopes. line, slopes. Slope, slopes. <laughs> so we're going to find the slope of each line and we would have 5 plus 4 over negative 2 minus 1 gives me 9 over negative 3, which gives me a slope of negative 3. Good job. Thank you. The other line would be 4 minus 1 over 2 plus 4, which gives me 3 over one half. 6, which equals 1 half. Is this the negative reciprocal? Would the product of these be negative 1? No. No. So they are Just the way you said it told me the answer is no, Mrs. Roller. Okay. <laughs> you led me. Not perpendicular. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more question and we are done. What is the equation for a line perpendicular to the one shown that contains 5, negative 1? Okay, first thing I need to do is find the slope of that line. And once again, we go back to our slope formula. We have m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have 3 plus 7 over 2 plus 2. We get 10 over 4. Two and a half. Right. right, or five over two. What would be the perpendicular slope? Don't want to change it out of fraction. It's easy to work with a fraction in these. Is that right? It really I is. I never knew that. Yes, it is. So the negative reciprocal would be negative two-fifths is the slope of the next line. Hmm. So now I need to use that slope and these points. So we would just plug it back in and we'd have y plus 1 is equal to negative 2 fifths times x minus 5. Solve that through. We have y plus 1 equals negative 2 fifths x. Don't forget to feed the babies. You got to both. Oh my. Both. Otherwise, we know what happens and we get these are both negative, so it becomes positive. 5 goes into 5 once and we have 2. Subtract 1 from both sides and we would have y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 1. And that is how we solve for slopes of perpendicular and parallel lines. If you are not sure how to do this, please go review this video again. And if not, if you, that still doesn't help, then I will be available to help you in class. I have a question. Sure. Is This is a history question. Do you believe that Y2K, the panic over Y2K is parallel to the panic over the end of the world that's supposed to come on December 12th or 21st? Do you believe that those things are parallel? Yes or no? Why? No, because I don't know the slopes of their lines. Good night, everybody.